Today in Zapius, I got two friends who have never played the game before and gave them a bit of a crash course intro. This video is focused more on the tips I was giving them and the questions that they were asking as someone with zero experience. A lot of it's pretty basic information, but hopefully you can learn something from it, or at very least find it entertaining. I feel like I should just watch you guys at first. Um, the biggest thing with being quick in the game is, because obviously you don't have any engines, anytime you're steering, you're losing speed. No matter what, you're going to be losing speed every time you're steering. So you want to steer as little as possible and as gradually as possible. Um, obviously, sometimes gradual steering isn't easy, but that would be like the ideal way to do it. Is there like... You just go in the same speed all the time, right? Because you're... Well, that's the wrong question. You're not accelerating. There's not a button to accelerate. No. It's just soapbox, right? No. Yeah, it's just soapbox. So the ways to accelerate is gravity going down a hill. <laughs> the yeah. you know what a soapbox car is, right? <laughs> That's there's, why I said because it's soapbox. <laughs> there's also the boosters. There's a few of them. They're the uh, like yellow on this. So they're actually different colors depending on what speed they're set to. Um, so the yellow ones, these are probably going to be about like 150 boosters if I were to guess. Maybe a little lower, actually. And then there's fans. There are none on this map. So the boosters and fans are kind of how the map is designed. And as well as the downhill is would be how the map is designed. But I'd say the biggest thing with this game is just being able to maintain the speed you're given. The left stick is turning. Um, brake oh. is going to be left trigger and arms up is right trigger. So arms up, kind of, the easiest way to think about it is it minimizes gravity, I suppose, or like reduces the effect of gravity. So it won't speed you up, it does nothing if you're just driving like on the ground, but in the air you get pulled downward slower. So if there's a big jump, um, sometimes when people make maps, they'll make jumps that you need to be able to clear a gap and Sometimes you need arms up, or if you um, like kind of messed a section up, maybe you wouldn't need arms up initially, but if you aren't as fast as you should have been, then you would. So just driving arms up doesn't really do much, but it's always funny watching people with default skins holding arms up the entire time. I was definitely doing that my first lap. Yeah, I was I watching. I what it was. Um, <laughs> do you go faster in the air or on the ground? It, it's pretty much the same. It wouldn't really matter. Um, so you would lose speed initially on like a jump because you're just gaining height. But in theory, you should gain that back when you're coming back down and landing. So like an optimal route, if you could take a jump or go around it, going around it would probably be better because you'd just be that speed the whole time. Whereas a jump, you'd slow down as you are in the air just because you're higher up gravity. And then you would get it back later on. How much speed do you lose, like, hitting walls? Um, I mean, if you hit it absolutely dead on, all of it. Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> if but you like... bump into it, probably not a lot. So, um, this map doesn't have it, but wall riding is really, really beneficial on a lot of maps because you actually lose zero speed if you enter a turn that, like, with a wall. Um, like and don't hit if you get smoothly onto the wall and just don't turn and let the wall turn you you lose zero speed doing that so that's actually really beneficial on a lot of maps a lot of the time that's kind of like a you would have to do it on like an outside barrier um no box of soap mine was frustrating because i knew exactly where to gain speed i would just mess up the lap later on yeah <laughs> so this one actually i specifically chose because i want to see how you guys do this first left hand turn because i've seen beginners try and take it and i've never once seen beginners take it how you should box of soap messed it up so ox is messing it up and here comes not Mike. I don't know, man. The, I'm... <laughs> Mike? That was almost the jump. <laughs> Mike did the best out of everyone. So, for some reason, people always think on that, like, style of turn. And that's why I specifically chose this map, because that turn is pretty common. Every time people see it for the first time, they think they need to go high and try and cut it inside. Stay on the left side so you don't get any air at all. And then just turn hard low. And you should be able to make that turn pretty much no problem. 
Like, if you go on the right side, you're going to take air, and you're, you're going to have no chance of making the turn if you get air. So yeah, these yeah. banks also will let you take turns just... a lot tighter than you normally would be able to. So, like, if you trust it, you can actually make that turn. Like, it, it's starting all the way on the left, basically. No air time. Uh, See? That was really good. And then you should have no problem making that next one. Which, normally beginners think you have to break there, and then you're not going to make that next jump. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's not how to make that jump. You were skidding out, I will say, which that's like the dust you see from your tires. So when you're doing that, that basically means that A, you're losing speed much faster than like a normal turn, and B, you're not going to be able to turn as fast as normal. It's kind of like if you think of a car sliding, like the, the turn's going to be wider. So if you see yeah. that dust coming from your tires, your turn is going to be wider. So that's just like oversteering. That, that that comes in time where instead of going full 100% left or right, you can kind of feather the the stick a little bit, but that, that just comes in practice. Oh no, you were at the finish. The finish <laughs> is at, on that couch at the jump. So this one does actually require some braking for some of these turns. I think I'm just gonna let you guys play it, see how you, you do. Um, for these jumps, you don't actually need arms up. You, it'll land it pretty smooth. Oh, I don't think I mentioned. Um, if you hit brake while in air, it stops your rotation. Okay. So it, uh, it's slightly beneficial to do that on these. It doesn't really matter on these ones, but on other maps, it's going to be very beneficial to do. Probably should have mentioned that. Oh, and arms up. Speaking of rotation, <laughs> arms up in air as well as like changing gravity will level your car out. So whatever way you're like kind of rotated like upside down or whatever, it'll kind of bring your car more flat. That's arms up you said or braking? Arms up will kind of flatten you a bit, braking will stop rotation. Also on the bank turns, you'll see lightning coming from your car and that is a good thing. You're not like losing speed. That's kind of like an indicator right before you start seeing smoke of like oversteering. The lightning is good. Like that that's like optimal steering basically, but you really only see it on the banked turns. Like flat turns you're never really going to see it. But you want to be steering basically to the point of seeing the lightning. Okay, interesting. I love watching my little default skins go down the road. <laughs> Coming into the finish. Too far left again. A little. Yeah, do you have I it? Level. I would have had it if I oh, leveled no. up. Can you turn? Are you gonna this time out? This is gonna be so sad. No. I gotta be <laughs> oh, no. Me too. Oh no. That's so bad. <laughs> I wanna run that one back later. There's still a minute and a half. You you can oh. run it back now. You're right. I can run it back now. <laughs> <laughs> this is I'm just watching because I want to see what you guys are doing and when it said I don't okay, really know that's if something I that threw my... me off is that when you're going too slow it puts a timer on your screen yeah when you're yep. done around a speed I thought that was the timer of the like actual round mm -hmm. so that's what f***ed me so under 18 speed is when you're going to have that timer pop up you have like 10 seconds to get more speed basically if you but it's kind of weird how it works. So if you never pass 18 speed, that timer will never come up. But if you go above 18, what you're going to do in the first couple seconds, unless you're holding brake, then if you ever go under 18, you have that 10 second timer will pop up to, to go faster, basically. Okay. Nice. Oh my god, that was almost so good, and then I hit in a traffic cone. It's fine. We're sending it. Let's go, Mike. Fourth! Let's go. Let's go. You can yeah. also go on the beach at the end there. It's going to be a little faster, because you had to like kind of turn super hard and lost a lot of speed to stay on the pavement there. Oh, so like don't take the turn as sharp as it is. Just cut onto the beach. Yeah. Is sand slower than the road, or did it... No, so you don't. You actually have no friction, um, no matter the surface. If you're going in a straight line, not doing anything, you're never gonna gain or lose speed. Like if it's a I dead just flat. I forgot that barricade was there because I was listening to you. Yeah. Got you. 
on a dead flat surface, um, it, it basically acts zero friction. Only time you lose speed is turning, which you're more prone to sliding out in sand and losing speed a lot quicker, and you're not going to be able to turn as tightly. Mm -hmm. But since it's the straightaway, you kind of just go, right? Yeah, it doesn't really matter there. I'm going to break through that turn and see what happens. Yeah. No, I haven't done it yet. I would say if you're, uh, if you want to break for turns, it's usually going to be easier to kind of like tap break right before the turn while you're still going straight. Because if you break in the middle of a turn, you're going to like kind of slide out a bit and it, it kind of messes with the turn a little. I find it a little easier if I have too much speed for a turn to right before starting turning, tapping break, and then start my turn without breaks. Makes sense. Yeah, it seems like between three and four, there's a little bit of a gap as well. <laughs> of two seconds. Yeah, uh, I'm definitely missing something, no? <laughs> probably not speed conservation. So you're missing something to my time, but to Dirty Boys, probably not. Just going to be speed conservation. So you know how I said wall rides? Um, if you're like turning on a wall ride, you don't lose any speed. Yeah. So... so that a little bit no because it's not gonna be worth it on this map specifically because the outside wall ride you're gonna be losing too much time just by your added distance traveled that it's not gonna be worth the not speed worth you gain but there is a thing called inner wall rides on these turns you see i am using the inside of the turn as a wall ride which is not yeah. very easy to do, and I would definitely not expect you guys to do it. You can get a 27 without it. You couldn't get a 27-4 without it. Ugh. So it's both... Inner wall rides are going to be both less distance traveled and can serve more speed, which is why they're so good on so many maps. It's kind of meta. Outer wall rides is... You have to kind of think about if it's worth the speed you gain is worth the extra distance traveled. But it's kind of a balance. I just have to go like further inside even. I get it now. All right. <clears throat> yeah, again, I would say one thing to f if you wanted to work on your turning would be to watch out for the smoke. That just means you're oversteering. Ugh. So if you steer a little less, you can take the turn actually tighter, which takes a little bit to kind of like get through your head that steering less means you turn tighter but like the smoke means that like you're skidding out so like that's how you would think about it mm -hmm. hi everyone if you're still watching at this point let me know in the comments what you thought of this one it's pretty different from what i've been making so i'd love to get some feedback on it and i'll see you in the next video